This is an interesting piece. An 1851 Navy Signature Series, also known as a third generation Colt. These guns are clouded in controversy, but what good story doesn't have a little controversy? Signature Series, or third generation, were produced from 1994 until 2002. All but a few special third generation guns have the Sam Colt signature on the back strap. These guns show a high finish, deeply blued steel and fine color case, and have very nice wood. So if you plan on uh, shooting your signature series, I would recommend a, a couple of things. Uh, one thing I always do is I just immediately replace the stock nipples with uh, an American-made aftermarket nipples. These ones are, I think, slick shots. They're made to fit the number 10 Remington caps perfectly. They have the right diameter flash channel so you don't get a lot of blowback blowing the caps off, jamming up the action. I, I, I don't know how many times I've shot this thing uh, today and I had no cap problems whatsoever. Uh, another thing that I did on this one is I had a gunsmith dovetail a slot in the barrel to put a, a better sight on there because this one actually shot really high and really wide. But with a dovetail slot I can adjust the windage and uh, higher sight so it shoots point of aim and that was a common uh, thing to do back in the old days actually uh, Sam Colt himself had his personal 1851 Navy uh, done the same way he had a slot cut in there and put a better front side on it uh, another thing that's that's kind of handy is uh, shooting black powder eventually uh, you're gonna feel the cylinder starting to drag and the thing kind of slow down and, and Kind of an easy way to keep things going is just uh, I take the cylinder off real quick and uh, Colts have these nice deep grease grooves that carry a lot of grease and it's usually the front of the cylinder here that'll start to drag and hang up and I'll just reverse it on the arbor spin it around and then you're you'll be back in business again just that easy. So nothing says chain fire more than poorly fitted caps and poorly fitted balls. I use a 380 diameter round ball. Uh, round balls are easier to load than the conicals. They shoot well. Uh, to me they're kind of the way to go. But uh, And you can always put grease over the top of your ball that to, uh, as extra insurance against chain fire if you are so inclined. The Colt 1851 Navy was Wow Bill Hickok's weapon of choice. While visiting the Old Town Square in Springfield, Missouri, I saw the marker commemorating the famous Wow Bill Dave Tut gunfight 
that occurred there in 1865. According to witnesses, Dave stepped off the curb and immediately began firing at Bill. Hickok braced his navy in both hands and fired a single fatal shot into Tut's heart from 75 yards. A remarkable feat. controversy surrounding the Signature Series guns is, are they a real Colt or just an overpriced Uberti? Lou Impronado founded Colt Black Powder Arms Company, which produced the third generation Signature Series under license from Colt. He imported Italian gun parts to the U.S. and finished them using proprietary Colt formulas for bluing and color case hardening. The guns were assembled in the U.S. and bear only Colt markings. The Blue Book of Gun Values regards the Colt Black Powder Arms guns as authentic Colts. The value of these guns has increased over the years, probably outperforming your 401k.